All right. So welcome again to Military Guna TV. Thank you very much for tuning in. And basically, we'll be discussing reggae boys that I that I actually witnessed in action, in action today. And the reason why you're getting this video so late because I had to rewatch some of the games and to see how much I can cover as best as possible. Yes, so a few of them. Um, um, but it's difficult. It's really, really difficult, people. But as you know, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Guess what? Someone said only like the content if you actually like the content. So um, like the content, people, if you like the content. <laughs> but make sure that you smash that subscribe button. As you can see, um, by the end of this year, I want to hit 50k. I, mean, I am not sure if that's possible. I'm honestly not sure if that is possible. But that is the target. So the first player we'll be discussing is the USL Championship, Kevin Lambert. No. The situation with Kevin Lambert is this. CDM, a player that we, a position that, ju that the Jamaica, actually Jamaican football team has been suffering from for a long time. And we have a young player in Kevin Lambert, a player that, that was very much highly rated by Jogba. Um, but for some reason, <laughs> for, some, for some reason, we just can't get um, the best out of him. I think time will come where he will we will he will blossom into that type of player that we are looking for. I'm um, looking for actually. So um Phoenix Rising played against Austin, um, Austin Dynamo and uh, they lost the game actually, two goals to one. But Kevin Lambert was a goal scorer in that game, had pretty much a good per a performance. Um most of the game was actually clippings, clippings that I had to see because he wasn't aired live. Most of the games, preseason games actually are not aired live. But um, the Shamanicus one, in which I'll be speaking about later, that one was aired live. So, um, um, Kevin Lambert, not a bad day for Kevin Lambert at the start of the season. And now we're going to move to the next player um, in Anthony Grant. No, let's get to Anthony Grant. Why is this thing not selected, Anthony Grant? <laughs> All right, so basically, I have some stuff right down here. So, Anthony Grant started today. Um, for Scunt, um, Scuntor, first win. Yeah, this is this is Scuntor first win. Our Scuntor first win since the twenty sixth of December. Since the twenty sixth of December, and guess what? Anthony Grant was a vital contributor to that. They are in the relegation battle, relegation scrap at that. Um, but Anthony Grant was a vital member in getting that win over the line. Um, now the next thing that they will be facing is. Anthony Grant, previous team. Whew, Swindon Town. <laughs> ah, Swindon Town. But um, a good day in, in the office for Anthony Grant. Um, I think this is his third game playing for Scunthorpe and he's really, really getting in, 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 in the gears right now. Now, I'm going to speak about the next player, Greg Lee. A solid performance from Greg Lee today, but guess what? Still suffer the defeat. <laughs> it's tough. It's really, really tough that you put in such a good performance and you still suffered um, from a defeat. They played against Lincoln City. The Shrimps played against Lincoln City, but still suffered a, a major, major defeat. Not major, major, but um, a defeat that they, they, they didn't want it because it, it, it's a setback uh, in the middle of the season. But I think that they will come back. But another solid, solid performance from Greg Lee, as you'd expect. Um, so let's move on to the next player. Ah, next player will be oh, the Premier League players, the Premier League guys. Should I really touch on the Premier League guy? You know what? I'm going to touch on the Championship players. Yes, Amari Bell and Bobby Reed. So <laughs> another loss for the reggae boy Amari Bell. Um, Barnsley actually. No, they um um they defeated Barnsley. My bad. And Amari Bell was a major major contrib contributor, not in regards to goal or assist. But in a, in accordance with performance, as you know, um, playing the wing back position again. Um, a lot of people say that Amar Bell is better at a left back, but he's, he's, he's actually a better wing back because he's so good going forward. He's a good position based type player. Um, so, another solid performance from another, another reggae boy in the championship um, in Amar Bell. We're going to look at the next player now, as you can see right there Bobby Reed. Bobby Reed, Bobby Reed, Bobby Reed. Um, seems to be scoring a lot of goals this season. 
can't score for us. <laughs> but he scored a lot of goals for us. Coming off the bench, I think he came off, came off the bench on the 70, 70, it's the 77th or the 74th minute. I think it's the 74th minute. Let me check. Let me check, people. I don't want to get wrong. Good. 77 minute people. He came off the bench on the 77 minute and it took him 10 minutes to register a goal. Major, major impact as um, Fulham defeated Millwall. Three goals to zero today, putting Fulham on the top of the table. And obviously, Fulham are going straight back into the Premier League. Um, it's going to, The closest team to them is Blackburn Rovers on 53 points. So, you can basically say that unless they lose every single game, unless they lose every single game until the end of the season, I can't see, I cannot see them going forward. But there's other regular boys in good position. QPR, we know who's at QPR, Andre Gray. Bournemouth, we know who's at Bournemouth in, um, in Jamalo. Um, they will be fighting for the third spot um, coming up. Luton Town in seventh position, but the, the points differential is not far out. It's not too far out, the points differential. Um, so, the next one we're going to be looking at is the Premier League players. Mikel Antonio. Now, let's start with Demar Gray first. 24th minute, very, very bad challenge. Um, Demar Gray going down, um, coming off the field early. And that is when the, the ship does sink for um, Everton because Demar Gray seems to be the one pulling the string. For some reason, out wide, um, danger, danger, dangerous, very, very dangerous player. Every time he gets the ball going forward, it looks extremely dangerous, like something will happen. Um, so it's, un it's so unfortunate that... Um, he went down injured. Uh, move this. He went down injured, and hopefully, hopefully, he have a speedy, speedy recovery because he's a player that I think Everton cannot do without for too long. Um, so hopefully, it's not a serious injury. Uh, so let's look at the next one. Um, <laughs> Mikel Antonio. Oof. He didn't really, really score. He didn't assist as well. But he done. He already know Mikel Antonio' excessive work rate, the intensity that he brings, and how he really, really bothers the defenders. So another good performance from his team. Another good performance from Mikel Antonio, um, which they they, they they won that game one goal to zero today against Watford. Hard fought game because Watford really, really came to party. And that one, that, that one nil victory game, um, brought them into the fourth, in fourth position, really, really solidifying themselves in fourth position. Um, hopefully, Arsenal can do something about that quite soon. <laughs> but anyways, um, as you know, um, Mikel Antonio, another good, another good day for Mikel Antonio in the office. Now, the final person we're speaking of is Boza in the Russian Premier League. Now, Boza with his first, first goal today. Oof, first first goal today let me see if i can let me see if i can get get on my twitter i do apologize for these people this should have done all right let's i'm gonna try so you can get on my twitter because i did have I, I have a few clippings i believe i have a few clippings so let me see if i can get my twitter to get that up uh do apologize about that let me see let me bring up my twitter people wow i'm here in party Oof. <laughs> I'm here in a party, people. Obviously. Obviously. Oh. People, if you want to know, this year is the Jamaican Premier League. Look at that. Look at that lovely scene in the rain. Beautiful. Anyways, let me move away from that. Right. Mm. I, mean, I think I had some clippings of the the Bowser goal. I'm gonna try. Yeesh. Yeah. Oh, it, it's not showing. Mm, but yeah, I, I didn't get the clippings of the goal. <laughs> I do apologize for that. But. Um, he made he, he came on in the 70th minute. I think it came on in the 74th minute. Yes, he came on in the 74th minute, and in the 84th minute, he scored his goal. So another player, immediate impact from Boza. As you know, quality striker and something that would expect from him. So I definitely won't go any further. 
Boza, um, congrats on your first goal. And I do believe that there's many, many more to come in times like these. So, people, smash the like button if you like the video. If just if you like the video. And also hit the subscribe button. As you know, people, heading to 10, um, whatever amount, 50k for the year. Can you imagine? Um, one other news. Oh, I forgot that news. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, Manchester United. <laughs> <laughs> just just some banter just some banter anyways people i'm um, glad to have you guys again um see you guys again um big up military guna tv people i am out don't don't pay me my deal i am out <laughs>